Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make hair beads. So um, hair beads are really useful for a lot of different types of characters. If you're doing a pirate, a viking, um, a dwarf, certain types of elves. Just There's lots and lots of characters who wear beads in their hair. So I thought I would show you guys how I make my hair beads. So here's some that I've already made. You can see here. Um, I've used lots of different colors of wire. I've got um, like the bronze, I've got black. I've made some with pink and of course silver. Um, there's lots of different designs that you can do from just super simple ones to spiral coils um, to ones with a little extra twist on them. I've even added little bits of chain to some of them. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so what you're going to need is a pair of wire cutters, needle nose pliers, and round nose pliers. It's not absolutely necessary that you have both of these, but I would recommend having at least two types of pliers. Also, you're going to need some wire. I'm using 18 or 20. This is 20 gauge wire in this video. Um, I would recommend um, probably nothing bigger than 18 gauge and nothing smaller than about 20 or 22 gauge because otherwise bigger than 18 gauge is just too bulky and smaller than 18 gauge is just too flimsy. It'll bend out of shape. And you're also going to need something small and round that you can wrap the wire around. I'm using a crochet hook. This is an F size which is 3.75 millimeters and I guess that's the diameter probably or the radius, I don't know. Um, but that's the size that it says on it. Uh, I have made some of my hair beads with other sizes of crochet hooks. You don't have to use crochet hooks. You can use knitting needles or a dowel, pretty much anything round um, that just something to wrap the wire around. So I'm using black wire today because it will show up better than other colors but obviously you can use any color you want. And so I'm just going to take a piece. Um, I don't really measure it. Um, and just cut it about that long um, because I'm not going to be making a super huge one. This is, this is going to be more than enough wire, no matter the size of the bead really, unless you want like a super wide bead or something. Um, but you can also do it without cutting the wire ahead of time. Just, you know, wrap the end, just hold it and, you know, wrap it. But you'll see how you can do that in a minute. Um, but I think it's easier to cut it ahead of time so that you don't, you're not messing with all of this extra. So I'm going to take the round nose pliers and grab the end and just bend it in a circle. And you can leave it at that, or if you want to, you can take it and basically you're going to grab it like this with the pliers and just wrap the wire around itself. So you have a little spiral like that. You can keep going as long as you want. I'm going to stop here. And then I'm just going to take the wire and the crochet hook. I'm going to hold it like this and just wrap the wire around the crochet hook, keeping it really close to itself. As you can see here, there's really no gaps. And you're just going to wrap until it's the width that you want it to be. 
and as you can see here is where you would yeah if you you could easily have left it connected to this but you know I prefer not to deal with that all right so once it's the width that you want you can slide it off the crochet hook and if you decide at this point that like oh you wanted to wrap more or something super easy you just slide the crochet hook back on and keep going so next um, then I'm gonna just cut it leave a little bit of an end and I'm going to take the round nose pliers and just bend it into a circle there at the end and then I'm just going to take these and kind of straighten it out right there because sometimes it kind of gets bent out of shape when you bend this into a circle and then so this kind of is sticking out a little bit on the side so I'm going to just use these to flatten it out if that makes sense sort of like that and just just you know play with it until it all looks right all right and there we go so if you want to there's so much that you can do with this you could you know before you make the circle add a little bead on and bend it around the bead um, you could, you know, like I did here, do the chain. Um, there's a lot that you can do with these. You can make them different widths, different colors. You know, get creative, you know. Come up with something that I haven't even thought of. So next I'm going to show you how to make this type of bead. The spiral coil. So this takes a little bit more wire. Um, I'm going to cut it still about the same length because I had extra before. And I don't want to make a super wide one, I think. And then I'm just going to take round those pliers, bend into a circle, just like before. You can do the, the little spiral thing. I'm not going to on this one, though. At least not at the top. And then you're going to grab it with this. And now, this time, instead of wrapping it close to itself, you're going to leave some space. So, you can see here that I'm trying try to leave an even amount of space between each wrap. Alright, and when you're done, you can just slide it off. Cut the end. Now I'm going to make a little spiral with this end, I think. And then you're going to need to adjust it. As you can see, it's not all perfectly spaced with itself. So you can take your needle nose pliers and just adjust little things. And you want this to stick up like that. There you go, you've got a spiral bead. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to put them in your hair. Some of you probably already know how to do this and that's great, um, but for those of you who don't, you're gonna wanna take a little section of hair. This is if you don't wanna put it on a braid. If you wanna put it on a braid, it's pretty much the same process, but a lot easier. Um, so you take a section of hair, you want it to be about the thickness um, that the piece, the um, bead is, and then you're gonna spray it with water to keep the flyaways down, and smooth it out, and then twist. So 
So now you can take like a piece of um, thread or something, or I'm going to use a little ponytailer, a little elastic, and just put it on here about halfway down and pinch it like this. I'm going to take my hair bead and push the, oh, the end of the elastic through. If you're using thread, it would be the ends of the thread. All right, so I've got my elastic like, with the bead like this. And I'm just gonna pull, sort of move it side to side to try to work the hair into the bead. Um, it's gonna be hard because you want the bead to stay on the hair, so the hair has to be thick enough. The piece of hair has to be thick enough that the bead will stay on. Alright, and once you get to this point, you can just use your fingers to pull the end through, and there you go. You may want to use a slightly thinner piece of hair than I used, because it was a bit difficult to get the bead on, but it'll stay pretty well. Now you can slide it up, and then you're going to want to slide it up high, a little bit higher than you actually want it, because you want to slide down a little bit. And then there you go. You've got a bead in your hair. So, um, when you buy beads, often they come with like a little thing that you can put in like behind them that will help them stay on better, um, but I don't really know how to make that. You can't really make that. It's like this solid piece. So, um, they should stay pretty well with just friction on your hair. Um, if they don't, you can put an elastic underneath them. You know, if you want to do like a few and then just put a clear elastic or something, you can do that. Um, I haven't really had a huge problem with them falling out. Um, so, yeah. So, it's the same thing with a braid, but um, with a braid, you can actually just slide it up onto the braid. So, next I'm going to show you how to use the spiral. Um, beads. So I'm going to take my section of hair that already has the other bead on it because it's already wet and sticking together pretty well. And so this is a little bit harder because you're going to you're going to take the end on the hair. Yeah. Sorry, you're going to take the end on the hair. And you're gonna wrap the bead around the hair and like the hair you're gonna twist the hair and the bead together basically so you're and make you're gonna make sure that all the hair stays in the bead like this there you go and now it's a little bit hard. If you take a thicker section of hair, you won't have it moving around so much. And it's a bit harder on thicker pieces of hair. But like the other one, you can just slide this one up to get it to stay. Or put an elastic under it. Um, and there you go. If you put it down more at the top, you won't have so many pieces sticking out. But I just did this real quick. So there you go. That's how you make your own hair beads and put them in your hair. So have fun cosplaying, good luck with your costumes, and hope you have a great day. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.